Sue's dog off my garden today and it's the 21st of December 2023. Wow, the time is going so quick. Anyway, I've literally just come into the polytunnel because I'm just going to do an hour's work again like I did yesterday, which worked really well, I think. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to continue with this back bit where the fig tree is and then we'll work on the start working on the other side with this hydrangea and cut that right down I think before it shoots produces any new shoots we're going to cut it right down so that when I do move it it's short and also um, yeah we'll just continue tidying up but I'm just sitting in polytunnel for a moment because I've just brought out my coffee and I just fed the chickens I have a Christmassy cup with teddy bears on it <laughs> so anyway how are your preparations going for Christmas are you ready oh it's such a hectic time isn't it even though but it's not hard work and if you break it up into small sections like I said I was gonna clean half of this I probably won't I'll probably do a bit of it and then seeing how I feel I will stop and then maybe do another bit the next day I won't pressurize myself I've learned uh, as to getting older I think it's part of getting older as well is not to let anything invade your brain space because uh, you just end up worrying about everything it's just not worth it at the end of the day it's just not worth it nothing's worth really worrying about because you can't do nothing if you can't do nothing about it there and then put it to bed <laughs> and don't worry about it because everything always sorts itself out always doesn't matter but try and do positive things so you actually head in the right direction that's all I can say do positive steps in the right direction just let it be and then let that step get created then do the next step that's what I've always done and it seems to have worked out quite well really in the long run um, I used to worry a lot when I was younger but now I'm older I, I just let my life be it's like this place because I think Simon worries a lot more than me I don't um, about the future I don't worry about the future um, whatever will be will be that's my opinion with my life um, and what's supposed to happen in it um, but you just make it so you do steps positively so getting this place ready to receive guests and then opening it and then doing as much as you can to promote guests coming in but not killing yourself and then just run it well, at the level you want and whatever outside forces come into play that's what happens so you know you can just do what you have to do and uh, just live your life as best you can really that's my opinion anyway not going too deep into this I could do a whole video about this subject <laughs> um, but we won't do that so we'll keep it light and we're drinking our coffee I brought a flask of coffee out with me so in case I want to stay up for a little bit longer than an hour but we will proceed with another hour's gardening in the polytunnel cleaning the polytunnel section okay so I'll see you in a minute with the camera hanging up pointing in the direction of where we're gonna work today bye for now bye uh, I'll set up the camera so we're gonna I don't know if you can see what's it pointing at <laughs> It's opposite on the phone as well, so you know when I upload my videos, they're absolutely opposite of what it really is, by the way, just so you know. So if everything's on the left, then it's on the right. But um, I'm going to do this, I don't know if you can see me, I might have to move the back a bit. Um, now hold on, this is not working. And we're going to just put some music over this and speed it up a bit because I noticed that you can really hear the traffic noise in the back of my videos. It's not that noisy but it seems to come out really loud on the camera and there's nothing I can do about that right now. I'll have to get myself a microphone and a better setup at some point in time. But at the moment, I'm not doing that because I don't want to. The wind's really getting up. I think we've got to go and put our Christmas tree down. Do this first. Um, and then we'll do the Christmas tree. Back in the 
Oh, you can't even see me. <laughs> oh, that's not good, is it? I'm trying to hope my arse isn't in the shot. Put it this way. and I've done that. I've put a stone there. I cut, I've filled in that hole. Would have had to dig a long way through the plastic to get in here though. The plastic is underneath the, um, you know, it's not just at the edge, it's underneath, tucked in. Um, it's the right to ask me in here. So we're going to turn the camera up and we're going to do that side now. I'm just going to leave the camera where it is and then we'll just finish this side. I'll do a separate clip. Hold on. So that took 10 minutes roughly. So I've got timer here. What time is it now? I can't see now. Right, so I'm going to set it again and then see how long this bit takes.
Corner took six minutes, so that's uh, about 15 minutes and all that took to do that corner. So that's done now. So we've done that. Um, quick show you, and then we move on, and we're going to clear this table now. Actually, I've done it already by the looks of it. There's not much to clear on the table. I think I've already cleared it. There's a couple of things. Uh, that's dead. <laughs> anyway, that was it's just a couple of things. So there's this here. I don't know what that is. Oh no, that's the ginger, isn't it? We just need to cut it down. All right, there you go. And take off that moss. But there, we've got this wonderful oregano that I grew. Look, it's still growing. A couple of things there. Um, these sage I want to put in here. Uh, oh, it's raining. And then in here we've still got some... Um, Oh yeah, the, what, what is this? Autumn Celebrates Broccoli. Oh, okay, we should pop that on really. Um, oh, there's a lot of water in there. It's looping. It's doing all right. And we do have all these beetroot to go outside. We won't do that yet. Um, and then we've got all this white yarrow, uh, which we're going to put in the garden in one clump because I want to have a load of yarrow to make some medicinal things with and yarrow tea and in here is some really minging water um, a broccoli oh I just found a little green caterpillar as well in here so got to watch out for those but there's not many um, brassicas in here but I will put on these brassicas we'll tidy up first before we start tackling any plants but we might just move these over to that table for a minute while we sort this one out actually that one needs clean i just got that um fleece from outside look how dirty it is it's disgusting i need to wash it really yeah i might have to um put it in a bucket and soak off all the dirt and then put it in the washing machine maybe and see if it'll wash uh, but I have to get all the dirt off first. I don't want that in my washing machine. That would be really bad. Anyway, so I think we're just going to do one more little bit of work. This bit here. And sort out this table. And that's all we're going to do today. Because I think that's about an hour then. So that's what we're going to do. But it all looks really good, doesn't it? Uh, what I'll just do with my cutters. Because I need to... Oh, I just had them over here, didn't I? I was cutting this plant oh no I better put them in here oh I do that I do that a lot when oh no here they are oh normally I just lay them on the ground and then when I clear up I throw them in the bin and I have to keep going through the bins and looking for my cutters and like my trowels and all sorts <laughs> Anyway, looking good though, look, so we've done all this here, this looks much better now. So I did all this up, there's bulbs in these things, so they'll have a chance to get through now. And I just noticed there was a, a knock the top of a bulb off, there's some bulbs in here as well, so we'll be able to see now when the bulbs come up. And the other day, yesterday, I did put all the crocuses in, so I put some in this bit here. Um, Oh, these were irises, by the way. One lot of those things were irises. So 
so I've just put them in there for now and then I've put the other lot of crocuses in this bed here and sort of in this clump in this sort of area so we can I'll put the labels there so I, I know that I've put them in but once they're done I'll take them out and I'll actually put them in the front garden here but um, I'll just leave them in here for now so I can see where they are and make sure they grow properly but it's looking better isn't it it's getting there so we're just going to do this little bit here tidy up this table and that's what we're going to do today so let me just move the camera again and put it somewhere else actually I might stop and have a coffee first I'll do that first okay so it'll take longer than now today because I'm going to stop for a coffee break so I'll stop for a coffee break finish this bit and I'm going in anyway but I might just scrape over this top soil here because you get all this moss starting growing on the soil so I need to just keep it at bay I can see there's some a couple of seedlings trying to grow through there I don't know what they are whether they're weeds but anyway I'll sort that out but look at that I'm really proud of what I've done so I'll have this done soon and then I can clean it and then the polytunnel will be ready um, when it's a bit drier I've got to pull up Simon's got to come and help me sort this bit out because we seem to be getting a lot of rain coming in here and it's going down here and it's going along there so we need to make this this thing a bit higher I think it's sunk in the mud so we need to sort this out because it goes down here as you can see right it goes down here and it's coming directly in here but if we lift up this um, slab and relay it it should prevent that and there's another slab there that we could lift and prevent that but obviously when it's not like horrible weather <sighs> anyway let's just get on well, I'm just going to have a coffee let's finish this first then have a coffee that makes sense doesn't it um, so I finish clearing this bit in the bin. And then we'll have coffee. Just chopping the head off. done that bit what I've decided is to leave the lavender for now and let it grow take some cuttings off it and then take it out because you can only take it from the new wood um, and it's grown very spindly but uh, I did try and take some cuttings off it before but I think they all died so we will try again in the spring we'll leave it for now and we'll let it grow again and a, a snail so I'm going to just tip this what I'm doing at the moment is just tipping this bucket of stuff onto the bed just outside the door where I've taken off that um, fleece so I'm just going to go and tip this on there take out any woody bits or I'll leave them on there for now and then take them out later and then I was going to cover that in cardboard for now and treat it like the other bed um, I think that's it for today so I think I'm just going to 
just go over the middle bed with the little hand fork uh, scraper thing and then I'll let you see that once it's finished um, and I'll just tidy up the table a bit and then I'll show you once I've done but in all I reckon it's been about an hour that I've been outside again doing this um, I'm not sure what time is I didn't really time it this time but roughly it's about roughly about an hour okay I'll just uh, finish up and I'll let you know at the end okay what I'll do is I'll keep the camera on and then I can work out how long it's taken me instead of um, and actually I might just film it I might as well just film it might take me a couple of minutes to do this So, it's 13.25, so I've been out here much longer than I thought I was going to be. And I want to quickly show you what I just did. I tidied up all the tables, sorted out all the cuttings, um, put everything, in, uh, the things that were dry, I've just soaked them in some water, like in a dish. And I've finished for today. Absolutely finished. Anyway, let me just show you. All these things in, these, uh, in a tray of water. So I put the thyme in there as well that was over the other side. And we've got loads of beetroot there. And then I've put the brassicas under here. Oh, I haven't put any water in there. I put the, Well, they're soaked at the moment, so I don't think I'll water them yet. Uh, so we put the brassicas under there. I might just put a bit of water in, because know me, I'll probably forget. And they'll just dry out. <laughs> and then a lot of the ginger was uh, soft. So, But I think this one is all right so i've left that one i'm not quite sure what these two things were um but i, did, I was going to tip them out and then i found that they actually were like corms so i can't remember what was in them <laughs> those two pots i'd have to look back over a previous video but we've got evening primrose here that's actually got roots and all of the um the uh, what are these called hydrangeas that i've done have all got roots so I tipped some of the water out because they were absolutely swimming in water. Um, yeah, and then I've watered this. This is one of these oxide daisies. Watered all the sage. I can hear somebody outside. Anyway, so I've watered everything. So that's everything done, as you can see. And um, I've, I've hung that up over there and I've swept all that table there. I will, I will wash it down when I wash the walls. Get that green off it. Uh, well, try. Uh, I've got to be careful what chemicals I use. Just soapy water, really. 
because we don't want to introduce any chemicals into the polytunnel and then um, tomorrow I'm going to come out again I'm going to cut these oxide daisies right down I'm going to cut them down so that they can grow again and then we can move them but we're going to clear all this bit and then we're going to sort out the strawberries we're not going to move the strawberries yet um, we're just tidying them up um, probably take them off for the parent plant and then pull out all the parent plants and uh, dispose of those and then um, tidy up this and get rid of that bucket tidy this up that's looking quite beautiful now though so I'm not going to pull it around or anything because otherwise there's nothing hardly in there now that looks awful so what I'm planning on doing with that is drying it then I'm going to soak it in a bucket of bleach water indoors and then I'll put it through the washing machine anyway bye my partner came out so anyway I just want to say goodbye so I've done the second part of the polytunnel clearing tomorrow will be a longer section because obviously well, I've been out here for much longer than now by the way I've been sitting out here for quite a while now just sitting down and looking at everything that I need to do anyway I want to uh, say goodbye and thank you again and a Merry Christmas again uh, in case you didn't see Merry Christmas in the last video um, and that's it really so anyway I'm going to come back out tomorrow so tomorrow's the 22nd of December and I'm going to come and uh, finish the rest of the the rest of the garden in polytunnel um, and I'm going to sort the strawberries out so I actually was deciding where to put the strawberries inside the polytunnel because I want to move them out of that where they are and put them somewhere else because they've been there since 2020 now and I need to move them so a lot of them the new ones are going to go in the other side of the garden but then some of the others I'm going to put by the fig tree and what I'm going to do is when I get some more chicken um, poo uh, from their bedding I'm going to mix it with a bit of compost and I'm going to put that down and I'm going to put them in there so they will go in there so I'm going now um, so I'll see you again soon in the next video please like and subscribe to my channel and if there's anything you want to know just drop me a comment below I would love to hear from somebody <laughs> uh, and thank you for watching I'll see you again soon bye for now bye